Overnight, Ukraine's capital city coming under fire. Kyiv's mayor reporting his air defenses were activated, but saying the Russian airstrike left several dozen civilians injured, including children. Russia's latest missile strike coming as Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky was in Washington pleading in person for Congress to approve another $61 billion in aid by year's end. Without it, Zelensky and President Biden warning Russia could win. In Ukraine, we are fighting for our country and freedom, and also in Europe, we say for our freedom and yours. A source familiar says a declassified U.S. intelligence report finds the Kremlin's military personnel struggling, counting roughly 315,000 dead or injured Russian troops since the conflict began. Russian officials denying the high numbers. President Biden cautioning Russia's President Putin could still snatch a victory and putting Republicans in the hot seat. The host of a Kremlin-run show literally said, and I quote, well done, Republicans. That's good for us, end of quote. Still, Republicans are withholding support for new Ukraine funding until the president agrees to more stringent immigration policy. Our first condition on any national security supplemental spending package is about our own national security first. The border is an absolute catastrophe. The president saying he's open to compromise and blasting Republicans. Holding Ukraine funding hostage in an attempt to force through an extreme Republican partisan agenda on the border is not how it works. How and when President Biden and Republicans can strike a deal remains unclear, but Biden wants one done before the holidays, though Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell says that's practically impossible. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.